What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And guys, today, we are going over the top snipe filters in this game. And yes, today, this is pre-recorded. So if the prices do look different on my screen, that's because it is pre-recorded. If you guys are new to the channel, man, make sure to sub it up. Comment down below. Subs would be appreciated, man. It's not hard. Just sub it up, man. If you're watching this video, like, subs. Maybe we'll do a nice giveaway on Twitter. The more likes and subs we get, let's hit 50 likes on this video. And we will do a nice giveaway on Twitter. So go follow the Twitter and Instagram. If you guys do need MT, I am selling MT on both Xbox and PS4 on Instagram and Twitter. So make sure... If you need MC, hit me up. We have amazing deals. Link is in the bio for Instagram and Twitter. And uh, let's just get into the best night filters in the game. So as you guys do know, Dark Matter. Wait a second. Is there do no Dark Matters or something? All right, here we go. Guys, Dark Matters are a buyout now. So <sighs> this is the end of the Dark Matter filter, boys. So honestly, since Bosch is the only Dark Matter, you can buy him out. But, like, Ja is also a Dark Matter, too. So, this honestly does completely ruin everything, okay? Um, once you see 100k buyout Dark Matter, in which is Chris Bosch, is absolutely insane, in my opinion. Um, this is just not good news, boys. So, you're going to see the Dark Matter filter crumble. You're going to see pretty much no buyable snipe filters in general. So, now, what I think 2k should do, they should make another tier called the GOAT tier. Um, so they're probably gonna start releasing gold cards soon dark matters are no longer gonna be at the top They're gonna release all 99 gold cards in which in my opinion is absolute bogus But what am I gonna do dark matter is ruined? So the best night filter in the game is now ruined so now maybe you could do dark matter with the eastern or the western end That's probably the best you're gonna get so Bosch is a raptor which is east so you could go western um, That's probably gonna be your best bet at sniping out dark matter, but that leaves out MJ which kind of sucks but let's keep going, man. We got Galaxy Global Snipe Filter, man. Minimum buyout. Um, who was that free Galaxy Global they released that was dirt cheap? Um, I know Juan Carlos is dirt cheap. I know Dominique's dirt cheap. So who's the cheapest Opal? And it looks like it's Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is this cheap. So Galaxy Global Snipe Filter, once again, once again, pretty much ruined. Um, the cheapest you're going to get for Paul Pierce to make MT is probably around 9-ish K, I would say. So, I don't know. Put your filters to around 11-something, maybe 11.5. See what's going on. Maybe other Opals pop up. But Paul Pierce does look like it, it, he is the cheapest um, Galaxy Opal in the game. And it's probably because his defense isn't amazing. It's just subpar. So, Paul Pierce is a guy that is very, very cheap right now, man. And honestly, Galaxy Opal pricing... He's not a good investment. I think he's going to stay at there for a very long time. Now, the real deal is how I make most of my MT in this game is the Amethyst filter, the Amethyst investments. And as you guys can see, the Amethyst are dirt cheap. If you want, put your filter to 1100 and see what happens. Um, 1150 maybe? Let's see what's going on 1150. So we got Beals. You want to buy everybody besides people that are in the NBA 21 set. So any current day players you kind of want to not take unless you get Amethyst LeBron and or Le Amethyst Giannis, okay? Because those cards are outdated, which means their prices are higher. So let's look at West Unsell. You know what? This is a very good snipe filter right now. Probably one of the best snipe filters in the game. And it is Amethyst Enshrined. Maximum buyout, I would say around 1200 uh, Maybe 1250 so like i don't know like 1150 i would say amethyst end so amethyst end 1200 maximum buyout um you can pretty much just snipe wilts west and who's the other one i forgot the other amethyst but you can pretty much snipe these cards all day you just want to get them for under i would say 1100 that's gonna be your safest bet that is how you're gonna make the most mt in this game you want to get them for lower valued and honestly these cards will rise throughout the week because guys people are not going to consistently pop these packs these are probably one of the worst packs 2k has ever dropped in indeed of pack odds because if you think about it these guarantee packs right here they're guaranteeing you pretty much a diamond and under which is pretty ass these amethysts i pulled these amethysts like five freaking million times so yeah that's how i feel these pink diamonds are very easy to pull even these opals they don't go for anything guys so you're left with these five that are almost unpullable like the odds are just so ass in this game 
So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how those odds go. I'm not a fan of it. I think sniping is kind of ruined. We also got pink diamond cheapest filter, man. There's not that many filters in this game. There really isn't. And right now, since the market is giant, let's just destroy it, guys. This market has just gone through hell. All right. Ooh, 3,900 Manu. I'm actually going to take that, and I'm going to sell them for around 5K. That's not a bad snipe right there. It's going to be hard to sell because it is Manu Ginobili. It's Manu Ginobili. He's so highly outdated. But you know what? They actually don't even have a better Manu than this pink diamond. This is his highest overall. They're probably going to release a Dark Matter Manu very soon. So we're going to sell them for around 5K. Which is a pretty big W in my opinion. We got to make room for it, eh? Uh, we'll just send that there. Send that there. So we're going to make, I don't know, like 700 MT that quickly. So the pink diamond cheapest filter is actually probably, other than the amethyst filter, might be one of the best filters in the game. Same with the diamond filter. Diamond filter is kind of slept on. But you got to know what you're doing. The diamond filter is a little more tricky than the pink diamond. Because pink diamonds, there's a less in the game. Um, you know what I'm saying? Amethysts are flooded, but they usually do go up. But look at this diamond Chris Bosch at 1600 MT. I might be able to buy both of these and make some MT. Oh, wow. Those were snipes. So diamond Chris Bosch was a good buy, I believe. And John Stocking did rise up in value a little bit. Um, so going over, I don't know. Chris Bosch was not a snipe. Either. So we went over to 2500 or the 2000 filter. Looks pretty good. That 80s definitely might be a buy. Jimmy Butler, 2K, Shumpert. Like, this is pretty interesting. Diamond filter, you gotta know what you're doing because if you don't, you will lose lots of MT. It is very, very tricky. And other than that, man, the diamond filter, the pink diamond, the galaxy oval cheese filter, I think the best night filter in the game is honestly gonna be the pink diamond cheapest. Like, I seriously think pink diamond cheapest is going to be your best bet in the game. Like, I, I seriously think that. Um, I don't think Mark Eaton is gonna be worth it, obviously, but here's some cards I would like you guys to consistently check over. <clears throat> and one of them is obviously Galaxy Oval Giannis. Definitely pay attention to this card. If this card goes to a buyout, man, you most definitely want to buy it, especially the one that could shoot threes even better. Uh, this one right here. Pay attention to this card. If you're going to get him for a 100k bid, it's a steal. He's an absolute dog. Still one of the best small forwards in the game. Or I, is he a power forward? I think he's a power forward center in the game. So definitely check out Giannis. But y'all, that's all we got. Check out LeBron and C-Mac as well. Have a good one, boys. That's all we got. Happy Sunday. I'm going to a card show. I'll see you there. No, I'm just kidding. Have a good one, boys. Peace.